45 pounds. Give me the shark. Amazing. Very nice what you do with animals, right? Yeah. 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 This is a 45 pound sand shark and we got here Chop Judge, food number chef Mark Murphy here with me. He's gonna show us how to make a delicious meal. We're also gonna be feeding strangers on the streets of New York, visiting Iron Chef finalist Esther Choi's new restaurant, and also going to Aki's new dessert shop where apparently he has the best kanafe in the city. We're out here in Brooklyn. We're about to check out General Ock's new chocolate dessert shop. Hey, I'm impressed, man. It's got some nice decor out here. Being the drip too? Ah, Joe. Uh, how much does it all cost, bro? How much is it all Oh, this is uh, priceless, baby. You know. How much does it cost, bro? Sign light, sign light. How much does it cost, bro? How much does it cost, bro? I think it was a good. <laughs> <laughs> this is the oh, kadama. Okay. We do one that got the Akiwe with the three sauces. You know, that's number one. It's an exclusive it's look behind the chocolate vacuum, man. Yeah. Only VIP, never will show nobody but for my brother Danny. You number know, one cannot be in he know how much right. love I got for this guy. This is the most popular one. This is the Akiway special. I told you, if it ain't the Akiway, you gonna go to the highway, my brother. No <laughs> secret, you heard? <laughs> no. What is this? You know how to play? Oh, sometimes when I'm sleeping. What? Thank you! <laughs> Oh, this is a red velvet crepe. And this is the Aki Way special? Yes, sir. Strawberries, red velvet. You put some brownies in there, too. That's amazing. <laughs> oh my god. Mm. Now, he said this is actually the number one. The Aki Way special, because they got chocolate, caramel, a little pistachio action going on. No, I'm not a fan of pistachio, but that's pretty good. Caramel. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is what I'm waiting for, though. Best one. If you guys come check out Chocolate Factory, this is what you want to get. New employee, Chocolate Factory, baby. We're about to teach this guy to make a kanafa. I think he had it one time in his life. That's what I heard. Dab it there. Shake, shake. Then, you know, like this. Aki was telling us they only sell 200 kanafes a day and they always sell out. So while we were waiting for them to finish cooking, he was telling us that he got in contact with Kai Snap. He hit me up, he's like, he got me. What's up? Let me link up. Next time I'm in New York. Yo, Kai Snap. I know you mentioned me so many times. You can't forget the bad. <laughs> never, 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 never. <laughs> you know, if we clap, we're going to break the internet, baby. OMG. So you know, Danny, we got the best canaver in the city. Can I get a bite? Never, never, never. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yo, let's dig in, bro. Let's go. Right. Cheers. Bro, that's what he did so he could get a bite. <laughs> you got <it> later. <laughs> <laughs> no lie, from one out of 10, don't lie to me because you my boy or anything. Give me no. that. Straight time, bro. You give it a try too, Mr. Cameraman. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> What would you rate it 1 out of 10? Walla, it's 10 out of 10. Oh, <laughs> Let's go. Sir, you're a sir. Knapp, the best knapp in the world, man. You already know. 67, 45th Ave. Chocolate Factory, we yeah. here. So we kept eating and tried some drinks that tasted like cotton candy Sprite. Everything was so good, but man, we ah. were stuffed. After finishing the desserts and getting a signed apron, it was time to go to Esther's for dinner. As we got to Esther's restaurant, we sat down and they just told us to order a lot. So we just got a bunch of stuff that looked good on the menu. Alright, yeah, let's dig in, man. This is gochujang glaze. Oh, yo, it's spicy. here. That is good, though. Hamachi crudo, looks like some avocado, some guacamole type thing on the bottom. It's got the shrimp tails popping out of here. No, they got like bacon bits in here, too. <laughs> hey, you excited for this? Oh, yeah. I'm focusing on Yo, they got ribeye in here? This is like very similar to the one you saw at uh, Parasite. Chapagetti, ramen noodles with some steak. Yo, oh, that's fire. That's so, this is tofu, some spam, pork belly, a little piece of kimchi in there.
after some downtime, Esther came out to talk to us about how hectic things have been. You know, a lot of times people think chefs just cook food, when in reality, they wear multiple hats, like making sure they have all the ingredients and supplies for the night, leading a team of cooks and chefs, and being able to adjust and fix unexpected mistakes or circumstances that may happen. The best chefs know how to handle this pressure, and that's really what differentiates a cook and a chef, in my opinion. Now, after all the great food, I said bye to Esther, and it was finally time to see Chef Mark Murphy and this 45 pound shark. Now, after Chef Mark showed us around the spot, which was a lot bigger than I expected, we start the cooking process by prepping some vegetables and breading. All right, now we're gonna season my breading, basically. I'm gonna season the flour with, of course, my chef's best friend, which is my salt and pepper mix. I'm gonna put some of that in here. So I'm gonna mix that in. And then I'm also gonna go over here and I'm gonna season up my panko breadcrumbs. I'm gonna put salt and pepper in that as well. And my other seasoning, which is called the surf and turf. It's got some black lime in it, some fermented white pepper, a little oregano, some garlic. It's a great seasoning for fish, also for meat, actually. Nice. And then we're gonna crack our eggs. All right, so this is really simple. This is just the cornichon, which are basically a French pickle, buzzed up in the uh, food processor, and I mixed it with mayonnaise. The ratio I have here is probably almost one to one. I like a lot of cornichon in my uh, tartar sauce, and that's about it. Next, we're gonna get our tomatoes, our onions, and our lettuce ready. A lot of people take onions and they'll soak them in cold water and ice water to take a little bit of the onion bite out of it. On a sandwich like this, I want that bite. The onion's done. Does pineapple belong on pizza? No. <laughs> well, by the way, that's a ridiculous question. <laughs> Let me talk about pineapple, because it's like the bully in the kitchen. You put a little bit of pineapple on anything, and it takes over all the flavors of everybody else. Mm. There are certain people that know how to use pineapple and to control it. It's one of those things, you gotta be able to control it. But yeah, pineapple can take over. Now we finished some of the prepping, so we brought the shark outside for a TikTok video, which, by the way, if you haven't already, follow me, Danny Grubbs, on all platforms. Look at the shark! Okay, wow. so chef, how are we butchering the shark? Well, I'm probably gonna, I'm gonna take off the fin and then I'm gonna come down in the middle. I'm probably gonna take off the tail and the head so I can just use the body. That's where all the meat's gonna be. All right, let's do it. Jeez, yo, this is crazy, man. Okay, tail going off. I really should have a saw for this thing. Right, so chef, we got some questions for you, okay? While we're cutting this shark, what's the worst meal you ever had. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody made a lamb heart once that was really kind of gross. So we gotta look for some place to eat, Chef. So what's the most overrated restaurant in New York City? <laughs> oh my gosh. I can't be making fun of my friends. <laughs> <laughs> what are some uh, overrated chefs on Food Network? Oh, yeah. I, what do you want to get me in trouble? <laughs> <laughs> look, I think the Food Network's done a great job of getting America to understand more about food mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, teaching people about food. That's why I'm involved. By the way, it's used in England a lot for fish and chips. So what can you expect from Yeah, it's got softer? some, it's got, it, it flakes, but it holds together a bit. Take out that center. That's a workout. All right, so this, we're gonna make a bunch of sandwiches. I'm gonna get like 40 sandwiches out of this guy. Oh yeah, let's do it. So if you had a cook-off between you and Gordon Ramsay, who would win? I mean, Gordon's got a lot more experience in uh, competition cooking, that's for sure. He's been doing that for a, a long time and seeing all those shows, you know. I cook, I have fun, I enjoy it. I love playing with ingredients. Just like to make good food, make people happy. <laughs> <laughs> Gordon was here recently. I got one last question for you. Yeah, what's that? What do you think about cleaning your chicken? Do no, you, you wash the chicken before you cook it? No, you don't wash the chicken. Because when you wash it, it splatters and it gets all the chicken juices everywhere. You gotta leave it alone. Just cook it, just cook it. All right, Chef, what are we doing now? All right, well, now we're gonna get the oil hot and we're gonna do some shallow frying of our uh, shark. What we've already done is we've seasoned our flour and we've seasoned our breadcrumbs. So we're gonna go flour, egg in here. We're gonna pan fry, take it out. Boom, we're gonna build a sandwich. All right, we're gonna flour. We keep the one hand for the flouring and then we'll switch hands, the wet hand on the egg. We're snapping and cracking. I'm going nice and slow here. The bubbles are still going. We're gonna check it in a minute. We're gonna flip them. I wanna make sure we get a nice golden brown. Chef, that smells amazing. All right, 
a very important ingredient in a beautiful fish sandwich is the Martin's potato roll because I find that they're nice and soft, they're delicious, and they're really good for like a backyard burger as well. And by the way, this is not an ad for Martin's potato roll. <laughs> <laughs> We're just gonna toast some buns up a bit with a little butter. We're almost there, we're almost there. All right, here we go, chef. We done with the fish? We're done with the fish. We're gonna take it out, put it on a little paper towel for a second. Throw a little bit more of my um, chef's best friend seasoning right on top of it. And then we're gonna put our sandwiches together. So first I'm gonna put myself a little bit of romaine lettuce down. I like that because what it does is it sort of acts like a little bit of a raincoat. A little bit of my tartar sauce. We're gonna go to our fish. Yeah, this is a sandwich party. A little slice of tomato and we're ready to go. Et voila! Our shark fish sandwiches are ready to go. Let's give it a try, chef. Oh my gosh. It's the best fish sandwich I ever had, chef. Shark fish sandwich, you blew it out the park, huh? What do you think, chef? Perfect. Man, this is crazy. Chef, you know what I think we should do? We should surprise some people. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey guys, I got shark sandwiches. It worked out well. Testing out some new recipes. It's a fried right. fish sandwich what by Chef of, Mark Murphy. What kind of fish? Sand shark. Sand, Sand shark? I've never heard of shark. It's actually really good. We just had it. Yeah, like small? Yeah, fresh, fresh. Wow. I like the bullet you rated out of 10. Nine? Wow. <laughs> I'm not gonna eat dinner now. I think it's, um, you want a sandwich? It's, it's yeah. fish. It's no, well, uh, no, no, no. Cheers, man. Thanks for stopping. Thank you. A fried fish sandwich, if you want to try? Uh, no, thank you very much. Yo, fried fish sandwich, if you want to try? All right, here we go. Yeah, guess the fish after. We'll tell you when it's the green light. It's still red, it's still red. It's a shark, bro. Look back. Oh, he wants one, yo. Yeah, here Listen, we go, fried chicken, fish sandwich. Fish, fish, fish. Yeah, fish. enjoy. Thank you, brother. Shark, God shark. Bless. <laughs> there you go, enjoy. Thank you. Enjoy. Here. All right, there you guys have it. 45 pound sand shark turned into an amazing shark sandwich combo. Oh my gosh, Chef. Where can they find you? Hey, at Chef Mark Murphy. That's Mark with a C. All right, well, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you guys throw a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. This is Danny Kim and Chef Mark Murphy checking out. Peace.